Well, let's cross over now to Kyiv, where we can speak to our correspondent on the ground there, Sasha Vakulina. Sasha, it is good to see you. Um, Russian, uh, excuse me, Ukrainian resistance has been very strong. We're now on day five of this invasion, uh, a day that President Zelensky has said could be crucial in this fight. What are Ukrainians bracing for right now? The Ukrainians are now bracing for any moment they take it as the crucial moment. As you said, this is day five and what I've been hearing here in Ukraine, in Kiev, in Ukrainian capital is that people say, look, I don't know what day is it today, is it Monday, Sunday, but I do know that this is day five. This is the feeling, this is the new reality that people all over Ukraine are living. They are bracing for anything that's coming, they're trying to stay strong. Uh, tonight has been very uh, tough. I myself is now in the shelter and we have been hearing sirens going off here every five to ten minutes with the messages, uh, warnings about possible air raids and everybody is going to seek shelter. This is this afternoon. This started, this intensified siren started right after the negotiations were over. Um, we understand that people did start to emerge from their homes a little uh, today after a weekend under curfew. And of course, I have to wonder, how are they feeling? Can they get the supplies they need? I mean, just sketch out a picture of this new reality that they're facing. Indeed, this morning there were very long queues to the supermarkets and the pharmacies when people finally left the shelter, left their houses trying to restock on food and water. Uh, the supermarket said that they're doing their best. Indeed, there are some products, some, something that is missing and not enough. Of. For example, it is not easy to find bread in supermarkets nowadays because many uh, bakeries are not working and those that have bakers, the supermarkets with their own bakeries, they just cannot keep up with the demand. Uh, because, of course, when people go out from their shelter today to restock on bread, food, water, medical supplies in the pharmacies, pharmacies were open, they're not just buying it for themselves. Themselves. They're also buying it for everybody who stayed in the shelter. Many Ukrainians did not go out. They just designated somebody to go and pick up food and water. Groups of men uh, helping that out. So they were trying to restock because, again, look, when this curfew, the weekend curfew, was over this morning, we were announced at first that the new curfew, the regular one, is the one from 10 o'clock in the evening. This decision has changed. It will start earlier tomorrow, which means... Tomorrow during the day, the decision might change as well. People are trying to get enough supplies because you never know when the new curfew will be introduced and when they will be out to go out again to the supermarket. They just try now to get what they need and to get what the people around them need because many are still staying in shelters and staying together there. All right, Sasha Vakulina in Kiev for us, reporting uh, from a place in a shelter there. Thank you so much. And, and of course, do take care, Sasha.